Hi everyone, welcome back to Dev Dojo Academy and welcome back to introduction to programming using Java. Okay, so now we know a lot of stuff. If we go back through everything that we know so far, we know how to create simple algorithms. We know that we have to create the public classes, that the public class name must match the file name, the file name must end with .java, and then we are going to compile this .java is going to become a bytecode that ends with a dot class. We also saw that to create variables, we basically have to declare the type, then an unique identifier within the scope, something that we're going to learn more than the Java one for all. And then to assign, we use the equals sign, one equal sign, and then we give the value to that variable. And then uh, we learned about the relational operators, and then we know that the relational operators will always result into a boolean. And we are going to keep talking about conditionals now because we were using conditions here but we were directly declaring true or false so let's create another class and out insert java class conditionals 0 3 okay so again public static void main press tab and we have our program ready to get started okay so we know that to work with conditions we have to use a boolean so we know how to get a boolean. Basically, we are going to use the relational operators and then they will give you back a boolean. This boolean can be used inside a if or else condition. And we are going to execute the flow of the program based on the condition that you have inside your if. Okay, so let's start with something very simple. Let's say give an age one. Just tell me if this age one is like greater or equals than age two so very simple exercise i just want you to print a message hey uh age one is greater than age two or age one is not greater than age two so how can we do that every time you think about two possible flows in your program you have to think that probably you are going to use if else statements now how can we achieve that first let's declare two variables and let's say here, hey, let's work with the first age. And let's give here 20. And then let's declare another variable called second age. And let's give some simple value, for example, 21. Okay, so now I want you to print a message. The condition is, if the first age is greater or equals than the second age, so if first age is greater or equals than second age i would like a message saying for example first age is greater or equal and then else first age is not greater or equal so very simple exercise now we know that we have to use a boolean but we have two options one is just using directly to the if else statement or we can create another variable then i will show you both examples let's create first another variable and then let's ask is first age greater or equal then what is the relation operator we have to use? Greater or equal. So I will call the variable first age. And then when we execute, we are getting back the value. So first age, is it greater or equal than the second age? Okay, so this is going to give us a boolean. And with this boolean in hands, what can we do? We can use a if statement. So this if statement, basically we'll use it. so if is first age greater or equal you can rename this if you want you can press shift f6 remember refactoring and then just move arrow the right or equal then second age right it's a bit too big but you can understand perfectly what we are trying to achieve here so is first age greater or equal than second age so if this results into true what do we want to have then we are going to print a nice message. Salt, 
and then we are going to have this. Great. Now, what if it's not? We have the else statement. Else. And then we can copy this or can, we can write since we are learning. First age is not greater. Let's say great, not greater. Great. Oh, no greater. Yeah. Or equal second age. And we can copy the second age here and have the second age here. Let's execute this program. Control Shift F10. And then we have here first age is not because the second age is 21. But now if we change here to second age to 11, Shift F10, the first age is greater or equal second age. Now remember that we can debug this program. So basically you can put a breakpoint anywhere you want. Just click here until you see the kind of the pink line, kind of reddish line. And then you can just click over here or press Shift F9. Okay, so we have two variables and these are the values in memory. I will press F8 to move one step down. And we already know the result of the relation operator. In this case, we have here true. And now, we just keep going on. If we press F8, is this going to be true or false? If it's true, remember, this is going to execute. Otherwise, this is going to be the line executed. So since the if got in, then it will just finish the program. Press F9, and the program execution is finished. So you can have as many lines as you want, okay? So, so I will just press Ctrl D, so you can have as many lines as you want inside your block. For if and for else, the same thing. So if you execute again, Shift F10 is not going to stop in the breakpoint because it's not debug mode. But you can see here all the lines were executed. So you can have as many lines of code as you want inside your if and else statements. Technically inside your block, you can have as many statements as you want. Okay, so the second thing, remember, we are creating a variable here. But that's not entirely necessary. What you could do uh, is something like this. Control C and then Control V. Just remove the semicolon and then if we execute, we're going to have exactly the same result. So what's the difference? The difference here, one, we are storing the result into this variable. So technically, if you want to use this somewhere else down your code, it's a good idea to have this here. Otherwise, you can save one line, for example, let's remove here for a while, and your code is a little bit cleaner. Now, what's happening here? Remember, the if, it's first going to evaluate whatever is inside, and then the result will be used inside the if. So if I put a breakpoint here, Shift uh, F9, just notice, we stopped. And then what's going to happen is that this will be evaluated. So right now, the if doesn't know if this is true or false. So what's going to happen? Remember, it's like in the math problems, we give uh, priority to whatever is inside the parentheses. So the if statement will check if this is true or false, and then it will get a result. And then this result, in this case true, what's going to happen? It's going to be used by the if. So basically, if true, then execute. So technically, the value will be used but you will not have access in memory for the result because you are just technically using this for this specific moment. So you cannot save the result anywhere else. If you want to save the result somewhere else, you just have to create another variable. So if I press F8, you are going to see that we are inside the line number eight, inside of the first block. Why? Because it's true. First age is greater than the second age. Now, if I want to use this somewhere else in the code, I would just have this uh, here. And some people might say that maybe, maybe, maybe this is better, uh, I want to say better readable. <laughs> Readability can be improved sometimes when you have naming variables that are self-explanatory. So in this case, it's pretty simple. So if you just take a look at your program and you see here first age greater or equals than second age, you can understand pretty pretty much just by looking at it. 
So having this entire is first age greater or equal than second age maybe is a little too much, but you have this option as well. So some people might say that this uh, improves readability of your program. So, but it's up to you. What you need to remember here is that your, when you have this relation operation inside your if, it will first be executed and then the result will be evaluated by the if and else statement. If I change it here, for example, to 22, you are going to see shift F9. It's going to stop at if, but if I press F8, boom, it's going to jump straight to the else because this evaluated into false. Now, one thing that you might uh, just want to do uh, when debugging is this. Press Shift F9 again. And then if you take a look right here, you see, evaluate expression. So evaluate expression will let you to execute a piece of code even before the line actually executed. So for example, I just want to see the result of this. So I will copy this and then I will just put it here. And then I will just click on evaluate. So I can see the result even before I execute this piece of code. And we can still press F8 and then F9. Okay, so a lot of information for one video. What do you have to remember from this video? You have to remember that the result of relational operation will always be a boolean. And then when we are using if else statements, you have two options, either store the result into a variable and then use the variable, or you can just put the relation, uh, relation operators uh, comparing the variables directly inside the if statement. So I hope you enjoyed. Let's continue with more conditions in the next video. Bye bye.